Hi, this is Vishal and now we have another session of the day that is the Kotlin login view as uh, I uploaded the video related to the Kotlin login view model with the view model and live data classes just few days back and I told you that we will continue this tool with the uh, retrofit calling with your web services so today is the day that I will upload this video to make uh, how to do the retrofit call in your um, Kotlin and how we can accomplish this task with the web services how you can call with the Kotlin to the retrofit and get back the data so all this we very simple and uh, uh, just we carry on the tour and uh, I am really thankful for your commands and uh, your appreciations and you watching the videos that's uh, it makes and it gives me the strength to make new videos for you and uh, uh, to discuss the new technologies what you going on with the Android okay so let's see the example here as we did last time just go through it once uh, we have a plugin you have to put the plugin Kotlin capped and data binding enable is equal to true that's be an implementation of if you work with the retrofit so we need a uh, this JSON retrofit and this converter and also we need a view model and live data classes if you want to work with lifecycle compiler so you can carry on if you work with the Picasso then use it and also the last and important thing is you have to cap generate step stops be true on your uh, Kotlin project so that we have done we have created the layout main activity login view model now we have to work with the retrofit calling so for this uh, I just see it in your Android studio uh, let's see the example here so the last uh, one I will show you that this is our activity main in which uh, we have a layout and in which layout we have a two edit text and one login button uh, we have to work we have the main activity and in which uh, we have to call the presenters and we can set back the data how we call the presenters and how we create the view models you must see it on my previous tutorial then you come on this tutorial and uh, now we have to go for the retrofit calling so for this we have a remote package and in this remote package what to do just simply a Kotlin file as you watch my retrofit tutorials for the Java the same thing I implemented here just copy that but in the form of a Kotlin how we can use it so for this we have to create a API service that's your Kotlin file and this is our interface we always make a interface for the this is your API service interface uh, for the Kotlin and uh, what to do for the uh, your retrofit we need to form URL and code it whenever you work with the post and here we have a post whenever you use the form URL encoded that means we have we are sending some parameters in the form of post at least one parameter be necessary for this is a mandatory for this and uh, the location is where is the location you have to watch that my location the PHP is uh, that is the log in view if you feel any issue related to the PHP or the local host servers exam so that I will upload these the PHP files for you so you can uh, also be make this on your exam and then use it uh, just for practice okay and here we have a post login view login tab dot php that's my php and now uh, what to do that is the main thing we have to create a fun that is the function and this is called your user login and in this login first we need a field so that field is here uh, this is a field okay and in which we have to put the same name as it in our PHP that is your user a uh, name in on that and here you you phone uh, you call it with any name I'm just using the same you can put just for reference and uh, here we have a next field and uh, we have to make the second field that is be your user pass okay and uh, that's be your user pass and it's our string 
so this is our string parameter and we have to call this so that means uh, you make it a call of string kind so this is my call and alt enter so that is a retrofit call okay so this is a simple function we have created for the user login in which we are sending the two parameters as in a username and as in a user pass very simple okay once it's api be create uh, api interface be created we go for the retro class that means uh how we can make it in a kotlin oh sorry it's in a java just make it in a kotlin so new kotlin file so this is a class that is called your retro class so make it as a retro class so this is your retro class and for this retro class what to do you just put it your base url whatever be it is so that's your private well and this your base url just as we did it in our uh, java okay it's on very easy just like with java and http and whenever we need it we put it 192 point you can check your local host here uh, 168 point uh, one five seven i think so that's be my config okay so once it's be done uh, we have to create a function that is called be your private fun get retro we have to create an instance for that so i'm making an instance for the retro get retro function instance and i want be the retro fit kind of instance is this okay so we have to return something here so for returning we need a this is your return and uh, in returning we need a retrofit and that's retrofit we need a builder dot a builder and dot builder b whatever we we have to build it but we have to build for the first base url and this is your base url and after making this base url we have to add a converter factory and that converter factory be our json converter factory so this is our json converter factory and we always be create that factory and dot we need a build okay so that's be a simple function but whenever we get back the in the form of a string sometimes with the issue i told you many times in my tutorial of a java so that's you have to create a json builder uh that's your json builder and it always be to make a set lenient and that's your create and once it's create you just put this json be here okay so this is our retrofit base url be ready but how you can create this instance anywhere in your project so for that you have to create one more function that is your a fun and that fun is your get uh, api and you can make it as an uh, instance uh, okay so that's your get api instance or which kind of instance it is it is your api service okay and uh, you have to return something here so that returns be your as in the form of uh, get retro instance dot and here we have to create and once you have to create that retrofit instance uh, just a minute what is I think uh, it's a uh, be little get retro instance yeah that is fine and dot yeah so that's with the create and it is your API service and whenever you make it in the Java uh, class kind so that is API service class Java so that is the Kotlin representation of getting the things okay and that's with your retrofit class and api service both ready then you go for the login model and in this uh, we have to call this service 
so for this uh, last time what we did we just pass the things and get back be here so comment here and uh, uh, use the simple um, okay so here you have to call the api service so this is your api service and that api service is your retro class and that retro class we get api instance simple okay so once you get this instance be here you go for the login call and in this login call we need a api service dot user login okay and here we are sending a simple parameters just username and user pass so once it's be ready then we have to go for the call call of this retrofit so you can see that this is your login call dot and queue so the same things we are work for here and here we have an object and that object we are kind of callback i just exploring all the things be here so you can learn well and uh, this callback be here where it is the retro call yes so this is our retro sorry it's a retro call we have to call call back call back call back mm. it's not showing me here where it is retro call yeah this is the retro call so whenever you put it you just make it as a string that is the string of uh, that particular call back the things be here and uh, once it's be ready you just go for this bracket curly brackets and in this curly bracket you have to make a overwrite function and that function be your on response kind of okay so this is your on response and uh, number two is your override that's be your fun and that's your on failure so the things be ready very easy and here you can just put this um, result data here if you get it is successful then you go for otherwise uh, it depends on it. i'm just putting be here just to show to you what is uh, the value of so this is a result and we just put the callback results be here as in a result data and we get back the things okay but uh, sometimes it happen it 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 active on when we call it here because of we have a we have to bind the things be here so we need to activity main binding dot login model as in our view model okay that's we have to put it uh below after value okay and once it's be ready so we need a activity mean binding dot set life cycle owner this so these two be things uh, we have to fulfill and that now we have to go for uh, the run for the retrofit what happened so that's a very easy retrofit calling whenever you go for that and you have to put all the things all validations all uh, progress bar everything be here if you want to go for that and if you feel any issue you can go for my java tutorial in which uh, we i have used the progress bar be here and uh, the things be and if you want to check the email and the validations empty validations you put all things because of we have a observable field so put all things be here you make a function for validation so everything should be in a form of a view model so nothing to do with the main activity you just pass the things and get back the things so that's a, a view model 
how we can use the view model so that's the way okay so let's see what's the answer uh, just compile it and run it uh, build yeah okay so we'll see okay so let's see what happened in it uh, yeah so we have a uh, we shall we shall on a database so whenever I click it it show me the login and if I put it something wrong so it show me the error so the same thing uh, we can approach and if you want with any validations you work with the view model in it and uh, if you need this php and other things so you can download it from the github and my coming tutorials i will show you with the kotlin how we can use the recycler view and uh, your grid views also so continue with this tool thank you so much for the day thanks